Good morning, class. In the previous lesson, we have learned about after the process of fertilization, the changes that take place in each part of the flower. The petals and stigma and anthers dry up and fall off. Sepals often dries up and stay attached. Ovary develops into a fruit. Ovary wall develops into a fruit wall and ovule develops into a seed. Now class, today we'll be learning about seeds. So let us understand what are seeds. Seeds are normally the product of sexual reproduction. After the process of pollination, then next process is fertilization. During the process of fertilization, there is embryo development and this development gives rise to a mature seed. So today we'll be learning about the structure of a bean seed. A bean seed is a kidney shape. The outer the seed coat consists of an outer hard covering that is known as testa. The inner lining, thin layer, is known as tegmen. The main functions of this two layer is protection from injury. On the concave side, there is a white scar, scar known as helium, which represents the mark where the ovule is attached to the wall of the ovary. Once again, on the concave side, there is a white scar, known as helium, which represents the mark where the ovule is attached to the wall of the ovary. Close to the helium is an opening known as micropyle, through which air and water enters into the seeds. So you have the helium over here and the micropyle. You can take a seed and you can have a look. You will you will able you'll be able to see this. The main function of micropyle is for respiration of gases for the growing embryo. The main function of micropyle is to provide suitable gases for the growing embryo. Now, it has two cotyledons which store food for the growing embryo. The embryo contains the radical, that is the future root, and the plumule, that is the future soup. Plumule consists of short stem and two small leaves. Now children, for today's lesson, please draw the diagram showing the various parts of a seed. Let us revise once again. Structure of a bean seed. A bean seed is a kidney shaped. The seed coat consists of an hard outer covering known as testa and the inner lining layer is known as tegmen. The main function of this layer is protection from injury. 
on the concave side, there is a white oval scar known as helium, which represents the mark where the ovule is attached to the walls of the ovary. Close to the helium, there is a small opening known as micropyle, through which air and water enters into the seed. The main function of micropyle is for respiration for the growing embryo. Now it has two cotyledons which store food for the growing embryo. The embryo contains the radical that is the future root and the plumule the future shoot. Today's assignment would be Explain the structure of a bean seed with the help of a diagram. Children, please write in detail. So class, this is all we'll be learning for today.